Hi everyone, I'm Gina Lamont and this is Firebirds Weekly. The beautiful Acrisure Arena right behind me here took thousands and thousands of man hours to build, but it was one man who had to oversee the entire production. We meet him today. From the ceremonial turn of these shovels to the drop of the very first puck on December 18th, 2022, a little more than 18 months passed. An incredibly ambitious schedule to get the Coachella Valley Firebirds a home for the 2022-2023 season. Phil Ransford was the head of a team of thousands charged with building an arena from the ground up in record time. It's incredible. 18 months to build a facility like this is incredible. It's an incredible push and what they achieved in that time is outstanding. It is a beautiful, beautiful arena. Ransford has opened several arenas around the country. He believes that Acrisure Arena though is second to none. Ours is uh, lovely. It's smaller than some of the other ones I've done uh, for sure. Uh, but that doesn't make it any less impressive, right? Our finishes here are top-notch. The design team is top-notch. What we have here is unique with uh, the practice ice and the, um, and the main rink under one roof. So this, this is um, probably one of the nicest buildings I've, I've got the chance to operate. Acrisure Arena is unique in many ways. With no upper deck, a luxury boxes that line the uppermost levels, there is truly no bad seat in the house. Also with no scoreboard hanging down over center ice, sight lines are unobstructed for hockey and concert fans. Additionally, this design may be a prototype for other mid and small size cities to have a world-class entertainment venue. I think it's the size uh, of it and the fact that there wasn't one here, right? So the draw and the need uh, for it was there. Uh, and so that his vision or their vision uh, and dreams came true, right? Like it's, they're filling that void of entertainment. So you don't have to drive two hours in traffic to go see a show. You can do it in your own backyard. The 18 month build out from barren desert to fully functioning arena is nothing short of a construction miracle. Built through the hottest summer in 20 years, one of the windiest seasons in recent memory, and an actual haboob, Mother Nature seemed to be against the project every step of the way. Throw in a pandemic, slowing economy, and supply chain shortages, the achievement is even greater. Well, I think uh, the Hunt team and our con general contractor, they uh, were able to secure a lot of the materials before the pandemic started because the project was uh, older than when, when we actually broke ground. Uh, so they were able to secure some of that stuff and have it on hand ready to go, which was a huge benefit to us. So we didn't get hit with as many supply chain issues as we should have or could have. Um, and the dust and all those other things, you know, that made it difficult. We, we had to clean a little more that we wouldn't normally because the building wasn't quite um, uh, dried in yet and then all of a sudden you know you're, you're spending a lot of dust through there so we had to go back and clean that stuff but um, I think they did an incredible job um, with the challenges that they did face. But as challenging as it was to take a patch of desert and turn it into a 10 and 11,000 seat venue, the man in charge of maintaining the Acrisure Arena says there's an even bigger challenge ahead. Is it harder to build this structure or to maintain it? I think it's harder to maintain in the grand scheme of things. You know, it's 18 months to build it. Uh, they get it built and then it's done. Then I have to maintain it, right? We've got to paint it, make sure it looks nice. We want to, we want to maintain a, a world-class facility, an NHL level uh, building, even though we're an AHL building. Um, so it'll take a little, little time, but we will maintain the building, make sure the carpets look good, the suites are clean, the concourses look great and clean, there's not ketchup stains, those kinds of things. So it'll be harder to maintain, but it's certainly not unachievable. So that was the most stressed man in the entire Coachella Valley for about 18 months, our friend Phil Ransford. Coming up next time on Firebirds Weekly, we're going to show you what it's like to go from hockey to a concert and back to hockey. It's the Changeover Crew next time on Firebirds Weekly.